Surprising Advances of AI in Medicine. Hello everyone, welcome to the session of the Lancet Summer YouTube channel. Hi everybody, many friends Armin and Ali. You know that AI has helped scientists a lot since a couple of decades ago and it seems that in the coming years we have some great revolutions particularly in digital health so we are going to speak about predictions about new surprising advances in medicine in the near future thank you would you please present our today's paper the title of the paper is ai enabled opportunistic medical scan interpretation it was published on may 11 2024 in the lancet journal the type of the paper is perspective and the author is dr eric j topo you know that he is one of the most distinguished and famous scientists and physicians in the world and we previously introduced another article from him and you can watch the video by clicking this tab and today we are going to speak about great advances in the near future about medical scans in one of our previous youtube videos we talked about frontier in ai and currently we know that ai can help physician with medical scan in many ways including faster and more accurate diagnosis automated analysis and quantification of scan data and personalized treatment recommendation could you please elaborate on this for sure we know that digital eyes can provide more information than their experts' eyes. For example, please notice the next picture and it shows us that in the following years we can have AI assisted chest x-rays uh, which can predict the probability of type 2 diabetes the coronary calcium score, the ejection fraction status, the 10-year risk of a heart attack, stroke or death from cardiovascular disease, and they can provide more information for you and your physician. In an article that was published in 2023 in Italy, Ippolito and colleagues evaluated the ability of AI in diagnosis of COVID, bacterial pneumonia, and healthy subjects uh, based on obtained chest x-rays in the emergency room. And at the end, the accuracy of this AI system was calculated to be 93.8%. How did researchers show that chest x-ray with the help of AI can make these predictions? Firstly, the researchers evaluated the risk scores of probability of 10-year cardiovascular attack with current methods. And then they evaluated the risk based on AI-assisted chest x-rays. They evaluated the 40,000 individuals' data and 147,000 chest x-rays. Surprisingly, the second method provide better performance for scientists. In another research, scientists assessed 160,000 chest x-rays, of course, AI-assisted chest x-rays, and they could detect diabetes disease you know that physicians cannot measure cardiac ejection fraction with chest x-rays and they need to do echocardiography for such measurement in another research scientists uh, used ai assisted chest x-ray and interestingly they not only could 
measure cardiac ejection fraction but also would find the valvular malfunctions and could you please tell us what other help can AI give us in the field of chest CT scan? Research showed that AI assisted chest CT scans can provide many information, much information about coronary calcium scores and risk of coronary artery disease. In another research, uh, scientists found that AI assisted chest and abdominal CT scans can predict and can detect pancreatic cancers. Researchers are working uh, to respond to the question whether abdominal CTs are able to detect diabetes, and in another research, they found that. AI assisted mammography can detect coronary artery disease. AI has been used in diagnosis of ophthalmology diseases before. In a review study by Du that was published in 2018, accuracy and sensitivity of uh, AI system in diagnosis of some of uh, ophthalmology diseases reported as follows. For example, for cataract is about 70% for glaucoma is between 63 and 93%. For non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy is between 75 and 94%. And for age-related macular degeneration is between 75 and 100%. In addition to diagnosis, another use of AI is predicting prognosis of patients. In a study by Dave that was published in 2017, an AI software was used to evaluating the survival rate of patients based on cardiac MRI imaging, laboratory tests, and patients' past medical history. And at the end, they evaluated that uh, accuracy of this AI system was about 80% for the upcoming year for patients, and it was 20% higher than physicians. What other help can AI do in the fields of ophthalmology and cardiology, Dr. Salamati? Fascinatingly, AI-assisted retinal images can distinguish Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, hepatic disease, kidney disease, heart attack and stroke. And in cardiology, electrocardiograms can distinguish and can calculate risk of atrial fibrillation, heart attack, stroke, diabetes, kidney disease, anemia, feeling pressure of left heart, and low ejection fraction. We know that the use of AI in the field of imaging might also have some sorts of limitations, including the need for careful oversight, concerns about data privacy, potential for misdiagnosis, and dependence on high-quality training data. Could you please elaborate on this? There are a host of limitations about medical images in uh, AI-assisted devices. You know that there are different biases, especially AI hallucination, which is a phenomenon in which AI can produce incorrect and nonsensical replies and it can produce increased costs and unnecessary further evaluations and patients' anxiety. Also, we should notice demographic diversities among various populations. And we should be careful when we are going to interpret such information. Previously, in another video, we talked about large language models and digital health that you can click on the link above and see the whole video. Dr. Salamati, what is your personal opinion regarding the future of artificial intelligence based on pros and cons that you explained? 
To me, I would like to refer to Shane Legg's statements, who is one of the co-founders of Google DeepMind company. He says, we end up in a future where we have incredibly machine intelligence that's also profoundly ethical and safe, and it enhances and extends humanity into, I think, a new golden period for humanity. Thank you for your explanation. Once more, the goal of this YouTube channel is to provide a summary of medical hot topics recently published in the Lancet Journal. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe our channel, and leave your comments below this video.